What's going on everybody, it's your boy Brendan. So I'm on a mission to get to 2000 active listings before this month is up. So on or before February 1st, 2000, right now I'm at 1850. So we're gonna have to really ramp up our sourcing here because we're already a third of the month in. So I'm hoping that I don't have to thrift outside of my normal parameters, but that's gonna require me to go to the bins a little bit more than I have been recently. I haven't been there yet this year, but we're going into the thrift stores and I am still looking for big time bolos, home run hitters. And as always, if I find something amazing, I'm gonna share it with you folks. So let's go do what we do. Let's go shopping. Okay, ladies, because I'm dumb. I don't know exactly what you call this. Is this a halter top? This is a dress? I'm assuming. Is this a halter top? Is that what we're doing here? I, yeah, I don't know. So this is a skirt and this is a halter top and the brand Farm Rio. How am I doing? First time I've ever found it. And quite honestly, just because of the pattern that I grabbed it and the fact that I've never seen the tag before, again, dumb luck being in the right place at the right time. And price-wise, I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, I'm gonna have to put comparables on the screen because I don't really know what we're working with here. But I do know that this looks like, at least at first glance, an item that will be awesome for resale. So do I have it right? Am I doing it correctly? Oh, we got a fresh card coming out. Let's take a look at it. Thanks, uh, I'm just here, you know, doing two things at once. Oh, I am. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. What else do we have here? Halogen lights. Duracell. What's this? Oh, Breville. Could be nice. Got a bunch of stuff coming out here. Thank you. Um, Saucony, Canvara, Talbots. These are actually really nice, but... I don't sell Talbots, so I don't know what their footwear is like. I should probably look that up. Maybe I will later. Durango boots. Let's see these. A little bit of wear. I don't know. These look like they're in kind of rough shape. I'm not uh, afraid to source shoes or boots in that condition, but I'm making a lot of assumptions right now. Anyway, that Farm Rio stuff looks like it's pretty hot. I have some hats here, and this belt looks cool. Hold on. I flip it. What do we have? Top green cowhide. What's M and F? Should I hold on to this? Let me hold on to this. Since I don't know any better. Country gentleman hat. And another country gentleman hat. Okay. Let's see watch that I think is worth picking up, but I could be wrong. Nail dryer. Um, all right, let me look this belt up. This will be probably the first time that I've sold a Rawlings leather bag. And let's just flip it around really quick. I think this is the front. So I went in to check the sold comparables here. Well, it's a little bit, hold on, let's look inside. So it's a little bit dirty. It's a little bit dirty on the inside, but I think I can clean that. I don't think that that's an issue. Let me look here as well. As long as the leather's in decent shape, and it very clearly is, I think we're good. So the last one, I think in this exact style for this Rawlings leather bag sold on auction for 250. So, does that mean I can list this for 300? I've got to go and look at the sold comparables like, and check to see if there's any more of this exact exact style, but this exact style did sell for 250 on an auction not too long ago. So I'll do a deeper dive, but is that unbelievable or what? I had no idea. I've never sold a, I didn't even know Rawlings made leather bags like this. And I've seen some new sell for four or $500 on eBay. So this is definitely an item to keep an eye out for. Rawlings leather bags. I don't think there's really anything else here that is going to make sense. There's actually this Eddie Bauer. What should I do here? This is a really nice Eddie Bauer genuine leather jacket, and I like the Eddie Bauer brand. I might grab this and look look this up. We're getting close to the time frame where jackets won't make sense. Although this will definitely work in the springtime as well. So, and it's a tall, a large, tall. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up and will decide after the fact. So I might grab that leather jacket either, but this right here, if you see Rawlings leather bags in the stores when you are out hunting, grab them. 
This might be a brand to put on your radar too, Salewa. Don't quote me on it though, because I've never sold them before, but just looking at the solds, this was somebody's, let's mow the lawn pair of shoes, but they, these will be easy to clean. And I don't, I don't know what possessed me to pick them up, but I, because I've never seen them before. And usually this, like when I see a name like this, it looks like just one of those like super generic Chinese off brands that sells exclusively through Amazon. So, you know, other than me not ever seeing them before, basically what possessed me to pick them up, I suppose, but they look like they sell for a good amount. This style is the MS Ultra Train 3. I know nothing about it. It's a US 10 and a half, but, and they clearly need to be cleaned and it's gonna take me maybe a little bit to get the rest of the grass out of the soles. But structurally, they look excellent. The insoles don't look worn at all. There's no rub marks on the back here. So I'm gonna test these out, but price-wise, I really don't know. I mean, they're 10 and a half, they're orange and it's a brand I've never sold before. I see some selling in the 50, 60, $70 range pre-owned. Uh, but these could be 25 as well so don't quote me on it but it looks like they sell pretty regularly and it doesn't look like there's a, a ton of them flooding the market so this might be one that's like a little bit of a sleeper bolo for you folks um if you've never sold it before so keep your eye out for that let's take a look at uh, some of the other ones here there's a pair of hokas that are pretty destroyed the rub marks on the back make those impossible to resell Vito something or other made in Italy. There is a, um, I believe that's called the Split Toe. I don't really know what that brand is. It's a pair of Skechers here. I'm leaving these behind. These are in good shape. They probably they would probably sell Goodyear soles. They've got the little like Air Max looking air pocket, but I kind of don't like Skechers as a brand. I know although there's going to be a lot of you that tell me that they sell pretty well, and uh, you probably wouldn't be wrong, but just my experience with Skechers is, eh, I leave, I leave the majority of them. So I'm going to leave those. I'm going to leave the Hokas. Let's take these though. So this might be a pretty, this might be a pretty good sale at the end of the day. These caught my eye because they look like Rothy's. Mia, they're definitely not Rothy's. What I want to tell you about Rothy's is it looks like supply is catching up to demand. So if you're experiencing, and I'm not talking about limited edition ones that are hard to find and still get the good, the good price. But if you're experiencing slower selling Rothy's or you're not getting the price you used to, it's just a simple function of supply and demand. There's lots more of them on the market, a lots uh, new over pre-owned. So that's something to be aware of. But if they're not selling the way you think they are, it's not you, excuse me. It is a function of supply and demand. There's just a lot more of them to choose from. So mine are selling slower in for a lower amount and that's just the name of the game but they're still good to sell they're still they still they still sell i like this croc what do we got size eight i might look these up because these are going to start flying off the shelves here in a month or two but yeah that's what's going on with your rothies don't be alarmed this is one of my favorite sections in the thrift store because it's just it's super random you'll get like body creams perfumes filters it's just a bunch of a bunch of random stuff i don't think there's any rhyme or reason and this happens to me all the time where there's like two things here one i thought was worth a million dollars the other one i thought was worthless this vineyard vines beach ball target collaboration five bucks on it uh i thought it was the banger and it's not the banger this however the first time that i've ever seen this this is going to be a great sale so five dollars and when i don't know something and I'm going to look something up for the first time. I'm going to use, at least in this instance, Tokyo Milk and Dark. Those are the keywords that I'm going to use. So I looked that up and there were 87 listings that were active, but 87 had sold in the last 90 days. That's a great sign. Now, when I'm checking the solds, I want to make sure that I'm looking for perfume because there's body creams also. And these are a little bit smaller than like the 1.6 ounce um, vials, that's what you call them, that are selling. So like brand new, if they were a little bit larger, they would be like $55 a pop. But I have six of these in here. Tainted Love, Arsenic, Bulletproof. I got a lot of interesting scents, flavors, whatever you want to call it. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to list this for $100. I mean, assuming these were 
like I could get 20 for each of them. I've got 120 bucks right here. If I parted them out, assuming they're brand new and they're totally full, which I believe they are, it'd be $120. So I think I'm gonna list this at 100 bucks. If you find Tokyo Milk, especially dark, just based on what I just learned, grab it. This could be a good one too, but this is this will be new to me and I'm gonna be selling this new. Uh, all together, I'm not gonna part it out. 100 bucks. I know thermostats sell well. When I looked at this one, I actually saw on um, the day after Christmas, this sold open box for $85. Can you believe that? Let's take a look, see if I can get this bad boy open. We might have to go the other way. Oh, I feel like I'm stuck. I wanna check and see if this has been used or, here we go or if it's open boxes. If it's open box, I'm gonna sell it for 85. It is a Wi-Fi thermostat, RTH 8580 WF. Got all of the manuals, quick start guide. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is brand new. That's amazing. I love finding thermostats because they're just boring and unassuming and that's why anytime I find something like this it like gives me hope for the folks that watch because I I know this stuff is on your shelves somewhere that's gonna cost me eight I think I'm gonna list it for 85 I'll have to do a deeper dive if there's somebody because I know these sell so quickly if there's somebody that's lower than me I might still like it for example if there's a, a listing for one of these for maybe 75 that's open box. I'll just wait for that one to sell because I know, you know, mine's gonna come around at some point. So I don't mind if that one drops off at 75 and then I sell this for 85 because I think Velocity um, is gonna, I'm gonna make Velocity work to my advantage. So I'm gonna sit sit on this for 85 bucks and get it sold. What a, what a find. All right, we had a couple toy pickups here. Wood, wood trick, never seen this, but it looks like there's only eight or so listed, but 14 have sold, brand new. It's only marked $5. A New World of Art Interior Collection. It's a mechanical 3D puzzle. I've never seen this before. Yeah, sealed. This look like they're going for about, I wanna say maybe in between 30 and $40. And you know, my girls never got into Elena. So I don't know a ton about her. Um, I suspect that these were not, like maybe these weren't manufactured in mass quantities like some of the other Disney princesses are because it looks like these are selling what do they have on it five dollars it looks like this also sells for like 40 50 even 60 dollars so is there are we like in one of those we got a very low supply type of things here and the demand is going up because of that so I don't really follow it so I'm not and not entirely sure but this is also a good seller what I might do is I might wait for the ones that are listed and on the blister pack here, we have some damage, but supply is low. And because of that, this is not gonna matter. So maybe at a minimum 40 bucks, but I bet I could push this to 50 if I was willing to wait for the other dolls to sell. And, and when I am doing my comparable research, I'm scanning this barcode. So if you use a different set of keywords, you might get different results as far as quantities go. And so, but when I scan this, I see eight listed, or so maybe I'm getting that mixed up with the, the wood trick one that was eight and 14 this one was I think a lot more in the solds so um yeah 40 50 dollars for this doll who knew there's a good number of like brand new items here this might be like the stocking stuff or donations but there's a new Rapunzel doll um a lot of new with tags or like brand new sealed toys here and that probably happens around the holidays so maybe that's not uh terribly strange but exploding kittens i think this game sells a lot too i wonder if that's sealed i might look that up as well but this toy section as a whole i'm gonna try to back out pretty that like stacked all the way across this wall but if you're local come take some of these toys because there's a lot to go through i'm kind of pressed for time so i don't think i'm gonna go through all of these bins, but I do like digging in here, especially when it's busy. And the store's kind of busy right now since so it's midday. So there might be some stuff buried in here, but these two right here, 
40 and 40 or 40 and 50 or 40 and 60 is like a hundred dollars all right we're gonna finish off with this one but let's talk about this for just a second i just pulled this off of a fresh rack it is a seattle mariners 2007 ichiro suzuki jersey he is long retired and this is a 2007 like third what is this 30th anniversary jersey it's black if you go back 90 days, I don't see very many, if at all, that sold, that's for Mariners jerseys that are Ichiro jerseys, that's sold in the black variant. There's there's white, and then there's this like teal color that have sold. Um, there's a couple of youth jerseys that sold, so there's that. So I have to go into Terapeak, and I haven't done that just yet, but this jersey is brand new. It's 100% authentic, and it is brand new, which is amazing. So price-wise, I see a size 48 in this exact silhouette style, the patches and everything. There's a 48 that's listed for $299. They want $15 for this. This is a 56. So this is almost like a this is like a between a 2 and a 3XL. So it's pretty big. And the fact that it's that large might actually slow the sale down a little bit. Well, if I'm going to list it high, like I do with a lot of my stuff, everything sells slow. But we have here, I'm just looking at the rest of the jersey. I mean, there's no reason to believe that this isn't 100% authentic by the tag. Maybe I will list this brand new for $300. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go into Terapeak and see if I can get any help from three years back rather than going 90 days but a brand new with tags ichiro jersey in the thrift that's crazy what a find all right we're back home so i decided to list the ichiro jersey for 250 i think that that's it's on the higher side but if you look at the comps that i put on the screen i think at a size 56 i might be able to get it especially if it's brand new and how about that rawlings bag that's just insane i will be elated if that thing sells for 250 so that's all i have for you today now make sure that you go back to my previous video titled clueless and you comment on that video make sure you're a subscriber to the channel because i am going to do a giveaway i don't know what that item or what those items are going to be just yet but uh we'll figure it out here soon enough so that's all i have for you brennan here dad Plan of the one-man show i'm out of here we'll see you in the next one